Hi, it's Ina here and I'm working with gel medium on a canvas board. Now I actually made this canvas last winter, but all the footage was stuck in my editing department because of some glitches. But I think I worked it out, so here it is. And sometime back in one of my chat videos, I actually showed you the completed canvas, so you might have seen it before. But today you will also be able to see the process. So I'm using all kinds of bits and pieces of fabric. It's mostly simple cotton and I use odd shapes. I do rip them because I like the additional texture of the fibers on the edges. And I also make sure not to glue them down too straight. Uh, the more texture, the better. Now gel medium works really well with fabric, but of course you could use fabric glue or there may be some other glues which will work just as well. Now I will treat this canvas just like I would any other mixed media uh, project with a lot of detailing, paints and sprays and this and that. But working with fabric compared with paper takes a bit longer. It just takes longer for everything to glue down and to dry. But it is a lot of fun and I really enjoyed this process and I hope you will too. Now this little project was not a quick one as it really took some time and even though I'm speeding this up, the video will be a tiny bit longer than you used to from my videos. Um, but I think you will find it interesting and it's very simple. So I let you listen to some music, but of course, when it is necessary, I will pipe up.
so far so good the background is covered and as you could see i of course secured the fabric towards the other side by just trimming it and gluing it down here i'm adding some more of the light metallic paint to the new elements and then i switch to this very pretty berry color red for some edging and shading those pretty organza flowers came to me in happy mail so i don't really know their origin and those little butterflies i actually cut from a piece of fabric i bought some time back when i was working on some uh, dolly bedding for one of my granddaughters so these butterflies are quite detailed and you will see in a moment i am trying to bring out those details using my white posca pen Actually, later on, I will be covering all this up by adding a second layer just to give these butterflies a bit more of a 3D effect. But I repeat this little process on the top layer and that time I didn't record it, so I wanted you to see it now. So after adding all the lines here, I also added some antennas. Then I used my black Sharpie for one more outline and then I will be going on with more detailing.
Now I prepared the second set of butterflies by adding gel medium to both sides of them to stiffen them up a little bit. And yet they were still a bit floppy. So I decided to add some little beads under the first layer, as you can see here on both sides, just using glossy accent and a little bigger beads than my micro beads. And that kind of worked. It helped the second layer to stick up a little bit more. Here's a completed canvas, and you probably noticed that I broke the little wood when I was working with it. It's very thin wood, but everything is repairable, and now you couldn't tell. I really enjoyed working with fabric in this mixed media style. It also gives me a good place to use up all my leftover bits and pieces of fabric. And so I hope this gave you some good ideas as well. And like always, thank you so very much for coming for visiting with me. See you really soon again. Bye-bye for now.